Shane Ryan had a question about practice content. Uh, as a young dude in college, so there might be a few of you guys out there in the same boat um, with the same problem. So, anyways, Shane is saying here, um, I have a question about practice content. I'm a drummer studying in college, and I feel overwhelmed with the content of stuff to learn from rudiments, styles, techniques, sight reading, and so on. Um, basically, his question is, how would you practice a particular technique or fill? Uh, would you concentrate on it for a couple of hours or a day on one item, or would you cover as much as you could? Well, here's what I would do. I'm all about practicing efficiently, pretty much whenever possible. So it's got to be stressful um, trying to manage your time efficiently while you're in college. Like, I don't know how much other stuff you got going on, but I'm sure it's a lot. So, you know, if you got an hour or if you got two hours, whatever to put aside, the best way to, to do things is to multitask. Try and work on several things at one time. Now, if you're actually able to practice around a set of drums, one of the best things to do, you know, two birds with one stone kind of thing, is to just take a rudiment. Actually, this might be three birds with one stone. But you can take a rudiment, um, and the best way to efficiently work on a rudiment when you're sitting around a drum kit is to break it up and spread it around. Every fill and every phrase that you play on the kit is going to consist of either a single stroke or double stroke combination of the two and the inclusion of the foot. Sight reading is an exercise that I think you should probably set aside a specific block of time to target and work on on its own. As far as the other stuff, the physical stuff, the best thing to do is just sit around the kit and just start playing. You can work on your hands and you can work on your coordination, you can work on your technique, all at the same time, just using a couple of rudiments. Here's a really cool exercise actually that you can do that combines both a rudiment and a hand and foot exercise. It's kind of cool and it's kind of fun and it, it really proves to be effective in helping you get around your kit efficiently. It involves playing the single paradiddle and a basic hand and foot exercise, three note exercise, left right foot, right left foot, whatever way you want to start it. But you're basically going to play one, followed by the other, and just get around the drums. It's just one of the ways where you can practice your facility around the drums, eventually work your speed up. But there's a lot of things that you're working on at the same time there. Your hand and foot coordination, um, your timing, obviously, because you're going to be working with a click. I didn't have one here, but hopefully you'll be using one. Um, you'll be working on your, your hands because there's a lot of ghost notes happening. There's a lot of accents happening. So things like that, just little exercises that you can make up using a rudiment involving the foot somehow, um, just combine the two exercises and just get around the drums. You don't even really have to do anything too specific. So that's probably how I'd manage my time, man. I would just um, set aside some time to work on my sight reading because it's a whole different animal. Um, and then set aside another chunk of time where you can just sit around the kit and play and just involve all of the physical stuff that you need to work on. You don't have to target any particular thing at once, you know, when it comes to that kind of thing. If you're sitting around a set of drums, there are ways that you can just sort of, you know, work everything in at the same time.